In case this is embedded somewhere that doesn't show the description, this has a trigger warning on it for themes of sexualized violence and victim blaming. They said I wasn't safe walking home on the street at night. I should always take the bus. That I couldn't count on the bus. I should carry cash for cabs. That cabs were expensive and unsafe. I should spend the night with friends. That I shouldn't trust those friends. Why the hell did I leave my home? And that I wasn't safe at home. So I better plan to live my life alone. This chorus is nonsense, but it has become routine. It's water. It's wind. It's Wednesday and there are parents on the news crying. Of course they told their daughter what to do. Gave her an umbrella and a rape whistle before sending her to school, thinking she'd be kept safe with talismans in her pocket. Magical thinking at its finest. Here's the checklist. Here's the rules. Just follow this script and nothing will happen to you. Like, Hypervigilance is just the price of admission for living, and predators are just weather. So don't forget to take a sweater. So some days, I spend my time thinking about rays of light rather than raindrops, and leave home without an umbrella, and get wet. I could blame the sky or blame myself. I could blame the folks that close and lock their doors. I could blame the wind that flips protection in reverse or blame the cost of umbrellas I can't afford. But lately, I've been spending my time thinking about rays of light doused by raindrops and raging. What good are umbrellas anyway, eh? These talismans are not tools. What makes you safe or unsafe is who's standing beside you. I am tired of hearing blame at girls for being caught out in the rain when there are folks standing on street corners with garden hoses and super soakers. Consent is transformative and wet's only good when you want it. Intent is transformative, but the chorus has stayed routine. It's water, it's wind. It's Wednesday again, and there's another assault on the news, and the police are helpfully listing all the things not to do and telling women to walk in pairs until they catch the guy. Like there's only one predator in town at a time. The rain takes a number and waits patiently in line, and don't worry, you'll stay safe and dry as long as you follow the rules. You're not safe on the street, so always take the bus. You're not safe on the bus, so always take a cab. You're not safe in a cab, so stay close to your friends. You're not safe with those friends, so never leave your home. And you're not safe at home, so live your life alone. 